You should have taken notes on waves. Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about waves and how integral they are to how we see things and how we hear things and how we feel warmth. Well, less on how we feel warmth, but how that warmth gets to us. It's all very important to our ways of life that we have today and life that we had, you know, thousands of years ago. Waves have been around for a very long time since the dawn of existence. Waves do one thing, and that's move energy. They move energy from place to place. Light energy, sound, heat. They move it by either going up and down or side to side. We'll go over those two types, but first I'm gonna show you what I mean. This is my ball of energy. It's amazing, look at it. I made it myself. I didn't make it, I, I blew it up. So if a wave is going like this, energy can come along and hit your walk ride on the wave train and bounce that way. So it moves energy. There are a few things all waves have in common. They have wavelengths, amplitude, frequency, reflection, refraction, and diffraction. And I'm going to focus on those last three right now before we get into the others. Reflection is when a wave bounces back at you. It's like an echo or a mirror. Mirror. Refraction is when it changes direction. When a wave is going in one direction and it starts going in another. That's refraction. Diffraction is the bending of a wave. That one's a little hard to explain over this, but all you have to know is that it's when a wave bends. Reflection's bouncing back. Refraction is changing direction. It's what my glasses do. Diffraction is the bending of waves. Frequency is how fast a wave is. How many wavelengths per second? I'm gonna go over wavelengths in a second, but I want you to know frequency is speed. Amplitude is how high it is, and that's power. Speed and power. Transverse waves. Transverse waves are light. It's how you see me right now. They can move through space, an empty vacuum, but they can also move through our atmosphere. They can also move through, you know, solid matter sometimes. You can see light through matter. They have a few things, vocabulary-wise, that you need to know. They move up and down. The top, at the very top, is called a crest. The bottom, at the very bottom, is called a trough. Crest, crest, trough. Crest, trough, crest, trough, trough, crest. Good? One crest and one trough together make a wavelength. So one whole wave is one up and one down. The amount of wavelengths you have in a second is your frequency. So if this is one second, I have two frequency, two waves per second. Amplitude is how high up it goes. So amplitude, wavelength, crest, trough, frequency. Longitudinal waves are sound. They're how you hear me. These reflections, it, reflections, these reverberations in our atmosphere. That's why there's no sound in space. There's nothing for it to bounce off of. There's nothing for it to move. Longitudinal waves go back and forth. They go like that. You can see it. You can see the wave right there going through it. That is your longitudinal wave. They are made up of two major parts. The compression and the refraction. Compression, refraction, compression, refraction. One compression and one refraction makes a wavelength. Add them together and you get your frequency. So wavelengths per second. So if I do this once and then again, and that takes one second, I have one frequency. And that's all you need to know. You should have taken notes. 